Hey, what's up, Soul? This is Chrissy at CaribbeanPod.com. Always a pleasure to have you guys here in the kitchen with me. Was home, mom shared some tips with me, so I'm coming back. I'm redoing this recipe. The technique is going to be a little bit different, so you would have seen me do this before. And what it is is butternut squash with shrimp. In the Caribbean, we typically use pumpkin, so that's what mom showed me how to. Well, she didn't show me, she showed someone else, and someone else showed me. And long story short, butternut, butternut squash and shrimp. Vibes it up, man. What's up, soldiers? Don't forget to click subscribe if you've already clicked subscribe. Hit that bell notification thing. I want to all you missing out on the new videos, man. Come on, click. The first thing we want to do is to season and marinate the shrimp. And I have here one pound of shrimp, which has been peeled and deveined and washed. Um, after you clean it, you probably end up with about three quarter pound because of all the shell and everything is all gone. And I'm going with salt. I have a tiny bit of curry powder, so that's about half a teaspoon of curry powder and a quarter teaspoon of ancho masala. And if you don't have ancho masala, mind you, if you want to get some, try any West Indian grocery store in your neighborhood and you'll find that if you cannot get it, just use some roasted cumin, which will be just as good. Some fresh ground black pepper. We're gonna need some olive oil. That's about a tablespoon of olive oil. Some Caribbean green seasoning. And the recipe for the Caribbean green seasoning is available on CaribbeanPod.com as well as ChrisDeLaRosa.com. And all it is, it's a blend of all the um, herbs we like using along with some garlic and some peppers and stuff like that in the Caribbean the stuff that we like using in the Caribbean We blend it and we keep it in the fridge for such occasions And we just lost a spoon there, but what I'm doing here I have here a pimento pepper and it is basically a seasoning pepper. It is not spicy at all I had them growing in my garden last summer so they're fresh out of the freezer there and all we want to do now is give that a quick stir. Basically to bring it all together. We're just going to sit that aside now. And we're going to get to prepping the butternut squash for cooking. And to be honest with you, you really don't need the shrimp marinating for too long. Because I find that the, um, the green seasoning will start to sort of cook it if we have it marinating for too long. In my pot here, on a medium-low flame, I've got a couple tablespoons of olive oil. I'm going to go in with some onion. And all the ingredients I use here today will be listed down in the description, as I always do with all of the videos. And the, the recipe itself will be on CaribbeanPod.com. Coming up shortly, some garlic. I'm just going to move that around. I'm going to turn my heat down to low now. But before I do that, I'm going to go in with some scotch bonnet pepper, just to give it a little kick. That is totally optional. If heat is not your thing, you can obviously leave that out. But we want this to get nice and soft without burning the garlic. A little bit of black pepper to there. And now that it's nice and soft, which means we release all that flavor. That niceness from the garlic and the scotch bonnet. Now the other thing I forgot to mention about the scotch bonnet pepper, if you're overly concerned, turn this into this, if you're overly concerned about the heat, don't include any of the seeds of the pepper. Now here's where I'm gonna start adding the cut 
the peeled and trimmed and cut squash to the pot. And if you're using pumpkin, glory, glory, you're better off than me. I wish I had some nice Caribbean pumpkin. And it will seem like a lot at first, but I assure you, it'll all cook down. This is one of those dishes that's not necessarily pretty because it's gonna become almost like a puree at the end, but I guarantee you, you've never had squash or pumpkin until you had this version. I just wanted to show you guys something. I had the pumpkin or the squash here sitting in water. I'm gonna turn my heat up to medium now. Sitting in water just so it doesn't go discolored, keeps it nice and fresh as I prepared the other ingredients. Plus the little bit of water will come in handy as we continue cooking here. Let's give that one more quick stir. Next up we've got to go in with some salt. Give that another stir. Put the lid on there. Medium low heat and let that continue cooking. It's going to cook all the way down. It's been going now for about 15 minutes and you can see the edges are starting to break down. It's smelling really nice in the kitchen without garlic, boy. I tell you, if you love garlic, mm, so we can be friends. Lid back on. Allow that to do its thing. Got a nice bubbling happening. Then you notice we didn't put any liquid in, but that pumpkin or the squash is going to release its own juices and it's cooking down nicely as I said and here is where we're gonna add a little some brown sugar to the mix just a tiny bit more and that's gonna bring out a nice sweetness brown sugar and pumpkin and squash they just go together like yo bread and flicking butter yeah look at that we're just gonna shift our attention over to the next burner and I have a non-stick pan. I like using a non-stick pan for this step um, simply because I've already put the olive oil on the shrimp. That's the whole idea behind that anyways. On a medium high heat dry pan and we're gonna go in with all that shrimp. And we wanna give it a bit of room because what we're trying to do here is to cook it but not allow it to go overcooked. And in the last recipe that I shared with you guys, we added the shrimp seasoned into the pumpkin. This time, we're doing like what my mom does. And she sort of pre-cooks it on a relatively high heat for about three or four minutes. Back over here for a minute. Notice it's cooking down. And that's what a brown spot you're seeing in the center there. I know this pot has a, a hot spot, so I too worried about that. It's not burning, I guarantee you that. And I'm gonna go in with my my swizzle stick and we want to crush everything. And that's what I said earlier, it's not a pretty dish, but is it ever tasty? So you can use a potato masher, whatever you have on hand there. In my case here, I'm using my swizzle stick. I'm going traditional with you guys here. Just to get it nice and smooth. My heat is still on if you're wondering by the way. Three and a half minutes later, this shrimp is fully cooked. All the way, well not fully cooked, it's about 80% cooked. First of all, I took on some color and stuff like that. Turn my heat off. Give that a final mix in here. It's been cooking for about 35 to 40 minutes, in case if you're wondering. And here is where we're gonna go in with all that nice shrimp in there. Give that a mix, turn off your stove. Chris here, CaribbeanPot.com. Our second take on butternut squash with shrimp. Remember I said you can also use pumpkin. Totally up to you. Always a pleasure to have you guys here in the kitchen with me. Now if you wanted to keep this thing vegan, you don't need to put that shrimp in there. Taste it for salt and adjust it accordingly. And enjoy, what can I say? My little baby is here. We've got cookbooks, guys. WestIndianFoodCompany.com. Get your copy today.